<clears throat> What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Drift 21. We have the basically six cylinder 2J, I guess you would say, consider, in the S15. But to, if you guys remember last episode, we were building the BRZ. We did put some sticky rear tires on it. We did get the rear suspension and everything dialed in with both rear calipers and everything like that. So the car will actually drive. We did put a upgraded fuel rail. We put the performance rail in the car instead of the basic fuel rail to get a little bit more power. So what power we're running on this car right now is 311 with a factory fuel rail. I believe it's like 250 or something horsepower. So we are on this car right now. Now it looks like we're on 235s in the rear. Oh, and 245s in the front. So apparently we have skinnier tires in the rear, even though they look like they're poking out more. I don't think that's correct, but we're going to send the BRZ out today for a drive. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all the front description box below. As you can see, I think that's the, that's the factory rail and uh, factory air filter because we did have to do the intake piping and all that for the intercooler. So let's get drifting. Let's take this BRZ out for a spin, see if we can't get it going. So if you guys remember the struggle for grip and stuff like that in the S15, we're going to see if maybe the BRZ is a little bit different. They added a new course. They added North course. Does that mean, did they add any more cars? No. Did they add more cars? Uh, did they add new cars? Or are we only on the three? Because I did not check it recently after it updated. No, we still only have the three cars. Sad Panda. So, but we do have North Course now, which is another course we can drive, which I think we're going to hit that today because, well, it's new and we haven't driven it. Yes. We're going to try and drift North Course. But first, we're going to go into Driftland and see if we can actually get this car to control and see where we're at. Not a fan of how the four cylinder sounds, but let's see how we can do. A little handbrake. We're actually. Oh, we're actually getting around this course. In this BRZ, we do have 35 degrees of angle, and, or 45 degrees of angle instead of. 54, 55 because of angle like this, 15. So maybe the less angle, the grippier tires, or maybe the lower power is actually helping. But the feedback does feel a lot better. I'm wondering if they updated the force feedback a little bit in the game because it's feeling a little bit better actually. And I feel like we should be able to drift north course with this car. Uh, so let's head up north course. I mean, Rather than sitting here, clutch slip. What's that clutch slip deal? Am I overpowering my clutch or something? Ooh, clutch slip. So I am, apparently I'm overpowering my clutch if you saw down there. So let's go back to the garage. We're gonna switch it up to North Course. See if we can drive North Course because, well, why not? It's a new course, North Course. Select it, go for free mode. And see if we can uh, if we can shred this in the BRZ. Oh, we may not have enough power though. Although then again, maybe we do. I say be in the right gear. We are slipping clutch though, so that's something we need to possibly address on this car. We are actually kind of drifting in this game. If you guys remember the beginning, the uh, 
auto response, everything was very finicky and I was a bit understeer and I was not really able to control it. I did kind of lose it there. But now it feels a lot better. So this BRZ could be the ticket or maybe we just need to go back to the S15 now. Well, this is going to be interesting. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually like do the actual flick one way. Oh no, no. Oh. Uh, what kind of hit hard in those tires? Don't think we can do the flick yet. Clutch slipping. Oh my god. But we are somewhat actually getting slides. So I think we need to put upgraded clutch in this. Because I believe it still has a factory clutch and everything in it. And for the power, we're probably overdoing the clutch, which is probably not helping. Second gear just banging. So if you guys are playing Drift 21, let me know down in the comments what you guys have done in your cars and stuff like that. We're going to try and actually get an entry here. Yeah, we got to upgrade the clutch in this car. gonna oh nope kind of lost it a little bit there I think we should maybe bring the s15 back out and see if the physics have kind of changed a little bit don't remember what the s15 power is at but with the throttle response and everything it does feel better so let's go ahead grab that S15 and see if maybe the S15 is going to feel better now. Why not? More power. Let's give it a shot. Don't remember exactly what kind of power we're rocking on the S15. So let's go to the parameters. So we're at 520 in this because I think I pulled I think I pulled a big fuel rail out of it. Yeah, we did pull a fuel rail out and dumb it down and before it was at 1000 horsepower. So, let's just take this car to the track and see if maybe they have adjusted the physics and how everything feels, because that would be sweet. This car does not have clutch issues, I can tell you that by now. Oh my goodness. I think they have adjusted how the wheel feels, because... Fifteen feels pretty good, actually. Oh, that's a tree, and that's a tree. So I feel like we should upgrade the rear end of the fifteen and go full out with the fifteen now, and do a thousand horsepower build, full body kit, and everything on the fifteen. So if you guys want to see this fifteen go up to a thousand horsepower, full body kit, and everything like that, let me know down in the comments. Or if you'd like to continue to see the BRZ build, let me know. Oh, if I would have stayed on steer, we would have been golden with that. I'm going to go back and try to get that again. So I've been having a lot of fun with Drift 15 and the way the game is with building of the cars and stuff like that. It's definitely car mechanics simulator and drifting meet for a perfect you know, mashery of fun. Oh, no. Does not like rumble strips, but we are able to somewhat control the cars now. Which we were not able to do last time. Now the wheel physics do feel still a little bit weird. I feel like I should be adjusting something. So I'm gonna do some tweaking and fine tuning of the wheel physics now and see if maybe I can get it to feel a little bit better and if I can I will guys definitely will let you know the physics and everything I'm running because we're actually oh, until you hit the grass are actually able to somewhat drift north course probably not the best one right now for this car but some grippier tires some bigger tires in the back I feel like we might be okay I'm uh being gentle with my entry. Oh, 
I thought it was going to be a nice wall tap, but it was kind of a wall hit. So, let's take this 15 to some other to another course a little bit more open so we can actually get a full, I guess, run of the car and maybe actually get some full drifting in to see if maybe it's just North Course or maybe if just the game has been updated. We'll go to the school because I feel like the school does have some pretty good sections where we can uh, throw down some lines and test it. It's cool to see that they're adding more tracks and stuff like that. So... Super excited for that. So let's see what we got to do with uh, too much power, too much throttle. Just trying to do. I was trying to do a circle. Oh, we're up on the we're up on the cliffs. We are up in the cliffs. All right, come, come back on track. This car may have too much power for this track. It does not like dirt. Catch grip, catch grip. Nope, nope. Try to do a little, uh, little donut. We can't really do it. So this track is a lot smaller than I thought. A lot tighter than I thought too. So I do want to get into doing some of the challenges and stuff to earn more money and things of that nature because if I start building so these other cars up higher, I'm gonna run out of cash. So we're gonna have to get some money and stuff in the game. A little wall tap. Oh, that was a little bit more of a wall tap. That kind of hurt. So I think we're gonna try one more track. No, don't quit game, back to the garage. One more track for today before we end the episode off. Definitely having more fun with this game now that I feel like some things have been changed around and adjusted and things of that nature. So I feel a little bit more comfortable with the cars and how they feel. So definitely we'll be trying to fine tune this, uh, you know, the feedback a little bit to get it to handle a little bit better. But, if you guys followed in the beginning, this looks a whole heck of a lot better when it comes to drifting than it did the first episode I did on this game. So maybe not going down in horsepower is, uh, is what's making it better. I think they're updating the feedback and stuff on that nature. So like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. If you guys are playing Drift 21, let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see the 1,000 horsepower S15 full body kit and everything, let me know as well. We will make it happen. It's a frame rail. It's a fuel rail and some body kit away from that with some spacers. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.